Put covered. Whistle blown. Over nine minutes still to play in this period. Scrappy game. Both of these teams have connected once. Fires. Thrown in. And the puck is grabbed by Hamilton. It's one of those restraining fouls. It's a hooking penalty. And the arm of the referee is up. Calgary's got the score! AJ's quick wrist shot surprised the goaltender in close. I think when he takes a look at this on video, he's going to see he was in really good position, and he just wasn't able to stop a perfect shot. The Flames have broken the tie here. They have been out shooting their opponent thoroughly. Edmonton's in their own end and on the move. Looking to Pouliot. On to Cassian. Shoots a wrister. Outstanding save off a chance. Mashed in. Picked up. Let's it go. Missed on the shot. Snapping a pass to Bowman. AJ slashed, and the arm of the referee is up. A penalty will be coming. Edmonton's got a two-minute slashing penalty. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. Pass attempt to AJ. Cleared back along and out of harm's way. And possession seized by Hamilton. Buck is thrown to AJ. The Oilers are back even. Full strength action, the penalty kill. Now it's directed to Pouliot. It's dumped in. Shoots. Oh, and he missed the net. In this situation, you have to hit the net. Sometimes it's best just to fire it right at the goaltender. Laid on to Samuelson. Fires. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. That's turned aside. Freezes play. Last minute of play in the first period. The first period has come to a close, and we do have a score. It's a close game after one. You'd expect that from these two. The Flames with an advantage up two. Puck dropped and the clock moving in the second period. And Rick to Lucic. Let's it go. Propelled to AJ. Up the wing and moving well. Heads to the front. He scores. Three in a row. body position was key to be able to snap this one home. And so just because you're in the butterfly doesn't mean you can give in to the shooter. You still have to move. He looked like he thought he was in perfect shape to make the stop and didn't have to move. Bad guess. Calgary's got an enormous lead and it's in the second period. Hopefully they don't go daydreaming now. The Flames control at center ice. Trying to go to Monaghan. Oh, and he is drilled. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Moving it to Everly. Poke checked away by Hamilton. The Flames continue to probe up the wing. Let's it go. Great glove save. The Flames carrying it in their own end. Gains the zone. Save! Okay, so he's got it on his stick. What'll he do next? Broke that play up at center. Loose puck captured by Samuelson. Takes it and looks. 
Looking from the blue line. Takes a shot. Didn't miss by much. You know what, Doc? I can see why he missed the net. There was nothing there. He tried to be too fine. Just under seven minutes off the clock here in the second. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. Good face-off win. Grab! Oh, if you're a shooter, you don't want to see the goaltender flash his glove like that. Tie-up and a help from the winger. Gains the zone. Slides it to the point. Off his path! Delayed penalty call. Referee over to the penalty box, and let's find out. The Oilers get two for cross-checking. First off, if your stick is on the ice, you're not going to get a penalty, but you can't carry it around like a weapon. The Flames get another opportunity on the power play. They have connected once already. This is an opportunity on a power play to take a stranglehold on the game. Eddie, I'm with you on that. Nothing much at stake. Just our reputations. Good quick poke check there. Shot not too strong. Pad stop. He's got it there. He wants to clear it out. The Oilers shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Onside. Shoots one. Got in the way of that one, too. Held there for a face-off coming up next. Good look and a solid pass up the wing to McDavid. Nice job, straight stand-up poke check. Calgary's in possession as they move up the wing. One-timer, gloved. A cover, and play is stopped. The Flames win the draw with a strong wrist shot. He scores! That's four straight. I love watching guys score on the backhand. This shot just overpowers him. He's in the right position. He stops a big chunk of it, but not enough as the puck's in the goal. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. The Oilers have made a switch. That's it for the starter. Time to go sit and get your ball hat on. The Flames have gotten another goal on a night of many goals. What a satisfying night for them, and their coach won't have much to say. The Oilers get it off the faceoff. Chooses the corner for this. Paddled aside. Skate kick out of the scrum. Puck held near the point. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. He's got it. Good solid defensive play there. Takes that pass up the boards. Goal. He'll pay for that. And he is reefed. There's been a lot of contact in this period by both clubs. Shooting. Blocked away. AJ's going to the box. It's a tripping mind. Tripping. Time of the penalty. 11 minutes, 24 seconds. Edmonton's to the power play again. And they have rung in one already. Let's see if they get another. Directing that one to dry cycle. Pointed to Lucic. Right on through. Let's it fly. Sticked away. Stared him down and made the save. If you want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. AJ is going to the box, and the call is tripping. The Oilers get another power play chance here. They've had some effectiveness on their power play and generated a lot around the net. Let's see if that continues. Pitching this one to Nugent Hopkins. And snap to Everly. Calgary's waiting back in their own end. Lightning in that glove. And he shoots. Calgary's got it in their own end, driving toward the neutral zone. Good shooting place. Oh, stick save. 
gets play stopped. Two periods are in the books. We've had a lot of scoring in this, but there is one dominant team. Third period is underway in a game that has become lopsided, but it isn't over yet. That's the way to make them pay. If you're looking for this type of open ice hit, you better have... Enormous collision. Oh, that nasty hit. Somebody's going to... And the end result of what's happened is this. The gloves are down. It's not about winning or losing the fight. It's about showing up. And he did in a big way. That was going back into old times for those two major penalties. The boat's over. This battle will continue all night. Good clean win on the draw. The stick broke on the shot. The puck taken hold of by Backlund. Shoots one. That hits somebody. Carried out of his own end towards center ice. Dumped in. Johnson's puck to play, so he does. Oh, great cut. Calgary is in control as they travel up the wing. On the outside, a shot. Oh, what a save. Continuing on out of their own end. And he dumps it in. Carries it to the corner. Puck covered, whistle blown. Edmonton's in their own end and controlling the play. Good distance on that one to McDavid. Monahan's cut through the neutral zone. Fantastic shutdown to Everly. A shot. Oh, that was close. Lucked out of the defensive zone. And he gains the zone. He's in. He scores. It's a hat trick. And here they come. AJ's quick read of the plate allowed him to get that breakaway and score. Talbot's beat low on the glove side. That's a real quick release that he can't get to. Calgary's goal has taken them to an even larger lead. 